Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well. For this week, I'll be sharing with you guys some money saving strategies. As a full time student, I've picked up a few money saving tips and hacks learnt from experience that have helped me not only to save money but consciously spend so I'm not wasting that money. I hope you guys all enjoy watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get straight into this video. So tip number one is to budget and plan your money. I think budgeting is one of the most basic and effective tools for managing your money and having control over that money as well. Yet most people do avoid budgeting simply because it does require additional work and time and effort to both set up and commit to. I think budgeting also carries this connotation that you have to give up and stop yourself from enjoying things that you do. However, I think it actually has the opposite effect in the sense that it shows you exactly how you allocate your money and presents you with a choice on what stuff you'd like to currently enjoy and what things that you could consider postponing simply because you, of your financial limitations. Other benefits of effective money planning include saving you the grief of overspending, producing some extra money, keeping you focused on your money goals and providing you with any early warnings for potential problems. Now, if you're not sure where to start with budgeting, I do have linked down below my own budget tracker that I created. You can access the free copy by clicking the link. It's a really good start, like I said, if you just want a starting point and it lays out the spending for a week nicely. The layout is quite simple. So on the front, you've got your goal section where you will write any goals that you have for the month. Down below is a income your income sources so you write down any money that you earn during the month and then following that you have a section to write all the all your expenses for the month so yeah it just nicely organizes everything so you've got a clear understanding of how your month will run financially So the next tip is to plan purchases and do some researches. So in terms of food, what I like to do is at the start of each week, I will plan out all the meals that I want for that week. Then I'll break it down further into all the ingredients that are needed. And once I've done that, we'll go into all the catalogs and websites to search any specials um, we're looking out for any um, places that you can get a cheaper alternative for that same product. Also here you can write down any alternatives that you have. So for example, instead of rice, if you have quinoa on special, you can swap that out for that. Or if you've got salmon is in special, you can swap that for any chicken. So yeah, it's just really about finding the best alternative and making sure that you're getting that for a cheap price as well. Tip number three is to make coffee at home. Now the whole idea about this is to enable you to produce some extra money as you are not unnecessarily blind spending. So I don't know about you guys but coffee was something or any beverages in general was something that I would purchase on a regular basis and although at the time it may seem like a small amount of money, say 3-4 for a good quality coffee, it does add up to maybe around $20-$25 a, a week of just spending on coffee but by making things at home you're more able to produce some extra money that will accumulate over time and it's a good way to sacrifice some short-term spending like buying a coffee every day in exchange for something more long-term like having a family vacation or buying a jacket that you always wanted some strategies that I have in place include brewing some coffee for about two to three days so that in the morning I've always got some there and also put placing a tea bag in my backpack so that I've got that also on hand if there's hot water at uni and also always always carrying my water bottle so that I'm not tempted to make any purchases at the metro stores.
Now this tip carries on from the previous tip which is to embrace home cooked meals and meal prepping. Now it's no secret that making your own meals at home instead of eating out will save you money. Now although in our busy lifestyles nowadays making three course meals seven times a day may seem unrealistic but this is where meal prepping may save you some dollars. So some tips to work some meal preparation into your busy day include looking up some simple healthy low cost recipes. When you do cook meals try to cook two to three times the amount so that you can simply reheat those leftovers in the following days. Having some type of dedicated day where you can batch meal so in this case for example make, uh, making some muffins for the week so you've got dessert sorted. Something even simple like chopping up all your vegetables when you've done your shopping so that when you do come home from a long day at uni work you're not so much um, lazy in a way to get up and make a meal because most of the things are already prepared you just have to kind of cook it. And yeah. My final money saving tip is to buy food or groceries from your bulk food stores or food bins. One of the benefits from buying from bulk food stores is that you can scoop out exactly how much you need so that you have no food waste and hence no wasting of money. You don't have the extra fancy branding that companies charge for so when you're buying in bulk you're paying nothing but the product itself.